Uh, hashtag it's in a yard reggae. But I told you earlier that today uh, we, are, we, are, we are crossing borders. We're going to Europe and uh, we're going to Italy. Uh, Manzer, uh, Tunenda, Italy uh, has a very small city called Pardon uh, near Venice. And um, Nili Chotna, one of the biggest bands right now in Italy called Melo Mood. Manzer, Mbawa, Nafanya, amazing. They have a new track also, uh, which is uh, I and I fitting, uh, featuring Emitarians and Anton. Big, but I don't want to spoil all that fun for you because Tulizungum Zanawao, and uh, this is what they had to say. Bless. In time for us, uh, Mellow Mood from uh, Italy, and uh, it's a pleasure ha having time to speak with the Mali Moses at Y254 channel in Kenya. So I'll just start by uh, by maybe an introduction for you guys who are watching you right now. Uh, I know Mellow Mood is a big brand is a big band from Italy but um, briefly tell us about yourselves briefly I mean <clears throat> all right so we 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 are a band from the from the northeast area mm -hmm. of Italy we are very close to Venice I'm yes. sure Venice is pretty international so yeah, that, yeah. That, that's a pretty accurate direction and um, we started playing reggae music uh what was like 15 um, 15 years ago on 15 years less, ago yes. we're very old right now <laughs> yeah. uh, so yeah we've been playing for a while and you know we started we started off as uh just like you know in high school with a bunch of friends mm -hmm. and then we developed uh, an actual an actual uh love for the genre yeah. and 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 devotion for the genre and and, and that i think uh, led us here where we where we at right now uh -huh, amazing and uh, you first formed the group at, uh, at around 2005 mm. then at around 2009 uh, you first did your studio album which is called move produced by paolo paldini which mm -hmm. gained an international success which made you also be recognized worldwide and globally tell us how was that particular experience for you now to drop the first album and uh, to get that particular international success well you know like at that time so that was yes to tell i think yes the, because we recorded that that album uh, uh, to to record the album it took like three years okay it was a very like homemade you know thing yeah and um, the album was dropped in 2009 if, I, if if i'm correct i think i'm, I'm correct and said. then um uh you know the world was different because we didn't have the social medias as nowadays we didn't have youtube channel we didn't have a facebook or, or, or instagram and, and, and so on so it, it was pretty like we didn't I think that at the time we didn't really um, um, realize what was going on. We just, you know, we were touring a lot. We were playing a lot in Italy. We had a couple of gigs in Europe and stuff like that. Yeah. But then I think we realized uh, the the global success um, when the the song uh, there's a song the, the most which is our uh, I think is our most famous song. It's called Dancing Ababano, which is in that yes. album. Yeah. So that song hit uh, one million or more on YouTube at that time, and so it got viral on YouTube not in our own channel because we didn't have a, a youtube channel at the time so imagine it was very different and when that song uh, reached uh, those numbers then we realized okay there are people all over the globe like uh, who likes this song and, and and who know us from these songs and so um it was it, it's pretty cool you know no, nah, that's amazing. And for uh, viewers who are watching you, I know uh, you told me earlier you're Lorenzo and uh, this is Jacob. Oh, oh, this is Jacob? <laughs> Lorenzo. Okay. It's around 2015, 2015, you, uh, you released the second album, okay, which was uh, Twins and uh, the Two World, which had the Jamaican collaboration. That, that's the that's the third and fourth album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what what, uh, what exactly made you to venture into uh, getting collaborators from Jamaican artists who like Janine? What exactly made you to now pursue to reach to the Jamaican ground? I think it's inevitable, you know, when you have when you love this culture and this music. Yeah, uh, and not only that, but you you made it your own job. I think uh, inevitable, you know, that you go sooner or later. You gotta you gotta go to Jamaica sooner or later. You gotta go there and study how they make this music, and you have to really connect with the 
with the root of this uh, of this culture. So <clears throat> that has always been a a, a desire, a yeah. desire of ours, and uh, it was by far the experience that gave us uh, the the most benefits, really, in terms of career-wise. And not only that, it, it made us better musicians and. Uh, it's something that it's not just like we went there once we we went there once and then we kept going and we go every every time we can go so yeah. and uh, you dropped yeah. a, you dropped a song in regards to uh, jamaica which is a beautiful song you did a remix also yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh you mean so you're, you're talking about in a jamaica yeah in, in a jamaica. jamaica yeah 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 so yeah there wasn't that was not a remix thing so we, we so we dropped this in a jamaica uh, and uh, tune with Richie Campbell, an artist from yeah. Portugal. He's also big, big like in. He's he's known in Mozambique, for example. <laughs> and uh, and then we dropped the following album uh, shortly after this one. Yeah. And we did another another tune about Jamaica. Uh, it's called uh, In a Jamaica Part Two, and that song features an artist from Italy, Forlock, and an artist from Jamaica, Hamper Sativa. Amazing, amazing, and uh, you guys now started to tour uh, around uh, the Europe, around America. Any plans? Do you have uh, plans for Africa? Let me ask. Do you have plans for Africa? You've mentioned about Mozambique, and now you're talking about Kenya. Do you have any plans for traveling in Kenya? <laughs> actual, actual plans? No, but. Uh, Guys, just 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 talk to us and we can make it. I mean, we, we would like to, we would love to make it, honestly. Yeah, uh, it would be a very, it would be great. We, we we also know we are very blessed because uh, our music gets uh, played in, especially in Kenya, I would yeah. say, by a couple of radio radio shows and radio hosts. So we would definitely love to to to, to come to Kenya and perform. So uh, I mean, let's make it happen. Amazing, amazing. And uh, this week I've been jamming to one of your songs, which is Sound of War, which has been quite attractive. And right now with the global uh, happenings from Russia and Ukraine, what inspired you in regards to that particular jam? Uh, well, th uh, that song was written how many years ago? A uh, few years ago, I would say at least four years ago and stuff. Um, you know, now, now we're talking about Russia, Ukraine, but, but uh, there are several wars going on and in, 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 in since, uh, ever since, I, I, I would say, in, in, all over the globe. Uh, it's not, you know, but just like war is there, war is there uh, always uh, yeah. in, in, in places on the globe. So writing that song, I was just trying to, to I was just trying to, Put myself really in, in 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 some in some in some other pe uh, people's shoes. Uh, those people are hit by war and all these uh, tragic uh, um, situations. Um, of course, uh, it, it is also I would say that that song is quite uh, openly social and, and, and stuff like that. But but on a certain level, we can we can also take it as a metaphor because uh, in I think that what we see outside is what we have inside. So the war, all these wars and conflicts, these conflicts that we see outside are the conflicts that we have inside. And uh, so the 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 invitation would be that we first have to clear ourselves, you know, yeah. if we want to to have uh, to have a bright outside. Okay, and now, right now, you have a new track, which actually it's a remix because you did it with uh, the Spain giants, which are Italian. I also love their music. First, how did you guys connect, you with Emeterians, before we talk about uh, Anthony B. Alboros, because I know Alboros also is from, he's from Italy, but how did you guys connect with Emeterians? Well, with Emeterians, you know, we know each other, I won't say that, that we know know each other, but but we used to, you know, we we were, we we catched uh, uh, each other a couple of couple of times. Uh, I don't know at Rotterdam Town Special International Festivals. You know, you have a lot of artists, and so we met them and stuff like that. But um, uh, I just I don't know. I just remember one night I was writing this this chorus, and I said I want to do this with them. And so I, I 
I sent a text right away to one of them. I sent him a vocal and he said, okay, let's do this. And it was just like that naturally and, and actually very quick. No. So that was the connection. It's just like, like sending a vocal to a friend and say, okay, let's go. Ah. Okay. Was, okay. Was, and now you did the remix. The remix is a, a part of uh, one of the biggest hits right now, also in Kenya. Uh, you featured Anthony B. You featured Alba Rosi, and uh, you did the video. The video is so amazing. You guys look amazing in that video, by the way. <laughs> how, do you, <laughs> how do you feel with that particular jam? You connecting with Anthony B. And first, how did you guys connect out with Anthony B? Well, uh, actually, this, this was an idea from our uh, American label, Ineffable Music, that's okay. the name. Okay. They liked the song at first and they said, we have to do a remix, let's let's try to connect with, with different artists. So Albo Rossi, we know each other a long time, he's Italian and stuff yeah. like that. Anthony B, yeah. we know each other a long time because Anthony B is one of the artists, I think he's the artist who tour the most. He's always playing around, yeah. uh, having shows all over yeah. the globe. So we know each other. But honestly, they were contacted by by our um, label. Yeah. And then we, we got the, the, the direct link, you know. Uh, and I think they, they liked the song and, and, they, and they wanted to jump on it and, and were very happy and grateful about it. Amazing. That's a big track. Amazing. That's a big That's track. Actually, today we'll be jamming in our studio. But I know you guys are going for a tour right now. Uh, briefly, let's uh, tell me about the tour which you're going right now because I know I've stopped you. You're in the car. Uh, which, talk, tell us about the tour. The tour is. We're, we're very happy to be to be back on the road. It's been it's been two years of almost nothing. Right now we're on our way to Austria. And then we will touch. Uh, I mean, we will touch here and there, almost, almost all Europe. You know, we have, uh, we have, we have the UK, we have uh, Ireland, France, Spain, uh, a, a bunch of gigs in Italy, uh, Poland, Poland, right? Poland. You know, we, we go. We, we're busy till 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 September, till, September, till mid September. Wow. So, and then hopefully we get busy again. Wow. So yeah amazing you know why because we are we are, yeah we, we we will drop a new record a new album mid july hopefully so hopefully we get busy even after summer yeah and before i let you go and before i let mm. you go uh maybe uh at any point do you think you'll ever do some collabs with the kenyan artists because in kenya we have uh, it's it's one of the roots of reggae 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 music do you feel maybe have you ever listened to kenyan artists We've listened to, to to a few of them because I remember they would play on. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if I should mention any competitor, so I will not. <laughs> but uh, but uh, would, they, uh, would we collaborate with any? Absolutely. Let's let's go. But let's let's do it with, with pleasure. Definitely. That's, that's great. That's and I can't great. leave you uh, without you guys singing for me. Just a bit of an acoustic from the song which now it's the remix, I and I. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe if we can get something before we let you go, and maybe your social media platforms and where people can interact with you. Okay, so our social media, you just type on Google Mellow Mood or Mellow Mood Official and you find everything. It's just YouTube, like YouTube, Instagram and Facebook are the platforms that we use. Of course, you have Spotify. Or Mellow music. Mood Official, then you yes. find us. And big up all the Kenyan Massive. Yes. I and I chant with tears in my eyes. Say everything I go, go right despite this dreadful time. Chant, we a chant again a million times. Good over evil shall come quick overnight. Boom! <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for Thank making so time much, for guys. us. I believe uh, when you learn to you Kenya, why to fight for the pleasure to be right? Wow, go on, wow, go on. Na hivyo ndo likuwa tunafanya shugli manze na Mellow Mood. Actually, ukiwana hivyo kwenye gari, they were heading to a tour venyo mekwambia. Walikuwa naenda tour and uh, they were going to perform in Austria. So after performing in Austria tonight, uh, but they'll be performing in Poland, they'll be performing in Spain, then in, uh, you know, all the Europe states, you know. Big up to themselves, you know, for giving us that particular time to speak to them. Alafu, nimesikia roza ki cheka ni kwa sababu alikuwa ameva hiyo huyo anaitwa Jacob eh na huyo mwingine anaitwa Lorenzo they are twins and mi DJ eh manze mellow mood manze wanafanya shughuli amazing na umeniambia pia umekuwa ukicheza music zao si ndio 
sample wenye wana kogerada wanajua sio zi sample au sio yeah man yeah man our hashtag is in a yard reggae to keep a bit amazing from international and local state here au sio yeah man wago run it again to a blessed tenor